everybody. My name is Paul Soak, P-H-A-L-S-O-K. I'm with the Youth Justice Coalition. And as a part of Justice LA, we're here to demand that we put people first. We're here to demand that you put our families first. We're here to say that if you build it, they will come. And so when we talk about they, we're talking about people of color. I spent 17 years on beds like this. I spent 17 years in cages, starting with juvenile hall, county jail, state prison, immigrant detention centers. It's very destructive. And it's the same story every time when I talk to people. How did you end up in the system? Because I had problems that I couldn't resolve. Because there was nothing out there for me. So when I was 17, I ended up in the system. I got treated as an adult. How do we treat youth these days? Right? Do we treat them like they're super predators? Are we still in that dynamic these days? Youth are not like that. And I speak from my experience at a time when I needed help. There was no help. I went to the schools to find help. The schools told me, sign this paperwork, turn in your books, goodbye. What kind of help is that? We shouldn't be investing $3.5 billion in more jails and more beds. We're talking about building a jail over some toxic dirt. All right, we're talking about building a jail for women that takes them so far from their children, so far removed. How are these children and these mothers supposed to stay together? All right? So the state's talking about a form of violence here. Violence that we as a community can control by being out here. Right? And so we're out here and we demand that these things come to an end. We want our mothers to be able to stay with their children. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We want our fathers to be able to stay with their children. Yes, yes we do. And when we're talking about building beds today, these beds will be coming in 10, 15 years. Right. Who knows how many more beds they're gonna build then? How many more are gonna come in 30 years? This at some point has to stop. It really has to end. And so when we talk about children, the children need the help. And that's where the money should go. It should go to schools. It should go to youth centers. Something that I needed was just a trauma center. How do you deal with trauma in the community? Because most of the youth that end up in the system don't come from Beverly Hills. They come from LA. They come from Long Beach. They come from the east side, the west side. They come from areas that are just hard places. Because our families can't get out of those places because the system keeps us oppressed. Because the system makes it hard for us to leave those areas. When they're talking about building development, you know what, we can't go anywhere. And we're stuck. And when they talk about gangs, it's just people trying to stay alive and survive. And then we get criminalized. Right, I came out of time as a refugee to this country and our people stayed together just to stay safe. And then we got labeled as a gang. I mean, what is that these days? And I not only speak from experience having gone through the criminal system treated as an adult when I was a juvenile, but because that happened, now I'm stuck in deportation proceedings. You know, that's super destructive. And I've seen so much of that on the tail end of things. People coming out of prison, you know, when you get released, you're supposed to go home, right? I didn't get to go home. I watched people go home on the day when I was supposed to be coming home from prison. I walked into another system, a system full of unknowns, a system where they don't even represent people. A system that this county board of supervisors has said, if you have a conviction under such and such, we're not gonna offer you an attorney. You're going at it alone. We can't continue to exclude people. We need to include people. And so we're here to say that you include the community, include our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our nieces, our nephews, right? The Board of Supervisors, you got nieces and nephews. You got mothers and fathers. You got brothers and sisters. How would you like it if we took them away from you? Think about those things. We're all people, we're all human. And we're just asking for human treatment for humans. Not degradation by throwing us in cells. That's, that's not the way to treat people. That's very inhumane. And so we need something to fix, to help our people, and that's what we're here for. Thank you.